going to read a wee verse today from the book of Philippians chapter 4. It's one of the great chapters in the Word of God. In fact, the little letter of Paul to the church at Philippi is a personal favourite of mine. There's always something to glean and to encourage our souls in the book of Philippians. Chapter 4 uh, of Philippians and verse 8, Paul says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think upon these things. Now I've been reading recently again Charles Haddon Spurgeon and his great book Lectures to My Students. It's a wonderful, wonderful volume, Lectures to My Students. And I was reading a chapter just recently entitled The Blind Eye and the Deaf Ear. Spurgeon says every preacher Every student of God's word and indeed every Christian needs to have a blind eye and a deaf ear. There are things that we need to turn a blind eye to and things that we need to turn a deaf ear to. You know, we live in a world and sadly even in the church where many people like to spread rumours, many people like even to spread falsehoods and lies and many people like to gossip. And like the children of Israel, murmuring is something that God hates. God despised it whenever the children of Israel murmured amongst themselves, murmured against Moses and against Aaron, and ultimately murmured against the Lord himself. Somebody once said that the gossip's mouth is the devil's mailbag. I don't know if you know what halitosis is. You've maybe met someone that has it, bad breath. Somebody said that gossip is halitosis of the brain. And yet how so often gossip and rumours and falsehood and lies and and slander and scandal so appeals to the flesh, but it shouldn't appeal to the Christian. But sadly, oftentimes it does. Rumours circulate, lies are spread, fake news and slander. And Spurgeon says, turn a blind eye to it. Turn a deaf ear to it. Nobody ever profits by spreading gossip, gossip or listening to gossip, or focusing on things that aren't true, or focusing always on things that are negative. Some people can't see the good in anything or anyone. They're like the Pharisees of Christ's day. They're critical, they're cynical, they're carnal, they're curless, they're callous. How the Christian needs to have a blind eye and a deaf ear towards things that are not helpful and things that are not profitable. You say, well, you know, gossip seems to appeal to the flesh. What do I do? Paul gives us here good advice. He says, finally, brethren, he has taken the church at Philippi on a whistle-stop tour of so many aspects of the person and ministry of Jesus Christ. And one of the key verses, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And as he draws his letter to a conclusion, he says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, the opposite of that which is false, Whatsoever things are honest, the opposite of that which is dishonest. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. You will find those things in the Bible. You will find all of those things and more in the person of Jesus Christ, who was full of grace and truth. Gossip, scandal, rumours, there's neither grace or truth in them. But Jesus Christ is full of grace and truth. Don't engage in gossip. Don't get involved in it. Because Jesus Christ said, every idle word that men speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. May God help us to focus on things that are God-honouring and to use our mouths, not to gossip, but to spread the gospel, to share the good news, to praise his worthy name and to seek his face in prayer. See you next time. Thank you for listening.